perseguiré de afán. Elizabeth Mason is the owner of the paper bag princess, by reputation one of the best vintage emporiums. And she's also dressed several top-notch celebs. Today, we're talking about hidden riches. Elizabeth is a professional treasure finder and the author of the book called The Rag Street Journal. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Mason and I want to welcome you to my beautiful new Beverly Hills Vintage Couture Boutique, The Paper Bag Princess. One of the things that's somewhat unique with Hollywood is the fact that my ladies have a tendency to like to wear vintage that's a little bit more revealing. Stars love their vintage frocks. And from Beyonce's Dreamgirls gown to Maria Bello's Film Fest fashion, the place to find them is the Paper Bag Princess. This is actually a little sunsuit, a romper. And it has a little skirt that goes over it. And normally it would have been worn just more to the center, but we've thrown it a little off to the side because that way she'll get a little leg action going on. LA's queen of high-end vintage is Elizabeth Mason. Celebrities flock to buy her frocks, but some of her gowns are out of bounds. They're kept in deep storage and cost the same price as an SUV. Does older mean cheaper? Not necessarily. I have a lot of celebrity clients from Demi Moore to Julia Roberts to the Olsen girls. If you're thinking of shopping for high-end vintage, you might need your credit card because you're shopping for a piece of history as well as reducing your carbon footprint. Our average price point is around $500 for a really fabulous dress. And the best thing about buying a vintage piece like this, you know, if you keep it in good condition, it's going to hold its value. This was a Gucci scarf. What I've done is I've made this into a little halter top. I'm not opposed to altering something to give it a new life. If it's a really important design piece and it's got historical value, um, I would never touch it. I would just perhaps restore it. This is where I keep all of the really, really, really fabulous pieces that I just don't want available to the general public because they're just so valuable. This particular piece was worn by Melanie Griffiths. Uh, it's a Tellier Versace, 60 or $70,000. We could buy a nice car for that. <laughs> Everyone's out there trying to be eco-friendly and you know, all these new fabrics and all these manufacturing techniques. And I go, yeah, but shopping vintage is the best way to be eco-friendly. It's the first eco-friendly form of fashion. You were obviously listening when we met with fashion designer Elizabeth Mason. This year's red carpet is all about keeping it classic. There isn't a better way to channel old Hollywood than inside a vintage store. Fashion designer and boutique owner Elizabeth Mason has styled celebs ranging from Julia Roberts to the Olsen twins. I think, you know, even though we are looking at the 80th anniversary of the Academy Awards, a lot of the designers leading into this anyway have been reflecting back. When I'm designing something, I always want to make sure that there's enough beautiful detail in here that if this is as much of the dress as you get, it's still gorgeous. And Elizabeth Mason is an author and also the owner of the Paper Bag Princess, and she's here with us today to breathe some new life into our tired wardrobe. And you are also a designer to the stars, Elizabeth. You take things and then you add your little own self to it, don't you? Oftentimes, if something doesn't transcend what's happening in fashion today, I will, you know, I will give it a song. rebirth. Up until just about 10 years ago, we always thought of vintage being 1950s, 1940s, 1930s, anything older than the 1950s. The 60s became the term retro. That's yeah. into the 70s was still considered retro. Well, now it's retro if you're wearing 1980s, like me in my 80s Chanel outfit with my jeans. Amazing. I'm loving it. Okay, tell me about this dress. This is Seal Chapman, uh, 1940s. Actually, Seal Chapman was Marilyn Monroe's favorite designer. So if you're looking at this, you can really get a feel for the sort of look. Where do you find these great old I won't tell. <laughs> the million keep a dollar secret. question. Uh, they come from all different sources. What I love is when I'm going into a home and I call them those single owner pieces, pieces that have been, you know, closeted away for many, many years. Recently I was in a home in Beverly Hills and there were literally three generations of gowns stored in that home, actually in a giant nursery. It was like Miss Favisham's room. Nothing had ever left. By Elizabeth Mason.
$500 to $800 for just a really super dress. The most important thing that Samurai did for women was he gave us trousers. He gave us the right to wear trousers. When he introduced that list smoking, the fact that he brought men's tailoring into women's wear, but did it so femininely. Well, I don't think I'll change the price of my list smoking because it's one of the rarest things to find from the 70s. And uh, that one is almost priceless, but I do have a $6,000 price tag on it. And uh, even when I first put that tag on it, people were like, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> they get it. Sometimes what I'll do, for example, on a little silhouette like this, is I may narrow it down through the skirt, just gotcha. to give it a little more sex appeal, whereas in the 60s it might have hung a little straighter. This one I just did for Helena Christensen for the Academy oh. Awards this year. Wow. And it's a, it's a multi-leveled thing. This was an Irene wrap from the 1940s. It's oh. just absolutely incredible. It had tired old sleeves on it. It's from the 60s. It's a Sarmi dress. I took the little cuff of uh, feather off the sleeve and I put it on here and I made a little spaghetti strap and I lowered the neckline a little bit just to make it a little sassier. It is from the 1930s. I've got to be very careful wearing these out to a party because you don't want your dress to disintegrate no, you on no, you when you're dancing. Someone wouldn't know you're wearing vintage if you put this on and I think that's part of the key of wearing vintage. You don't want to look like you're wearing a costume. Right. This was something that came to me in a heap in a plastic bag and it did not look like this. I redesigned this for Maria Bello for the Golden Globes three years ago and we reshaped the waist, we cut it down through the neckline. To achieve the look of the classic vintage beauty, look no further than Canada's sweetheart, Rachel McAdams. She's very young, she's very beautiful, she has an adorable little face, so she used, tends to choose something that really frames that face, a little sweetheart or what we call a portrait neckline, but fresh and young too. So, and a little sexy. Everyone from Nicole Kidman to Sarah Jessica Parker have dazzled in her fabulous finds. You're guaranteed to set yourself apart from the crowd and express your own individuality. It just gave beautiful boobs. <laughs> I hate to say it, but that's what that dress was all about. Jennifer, I'm gone. No one else is going to have that dress. She's going to stand alone on that red carpet. But what does this queen of old couture look for? Something that would qualify a piece as being valuable would be construction, quality and construction, craftsmanship. If it's got a very unique uh, style design to it. To be honest with you, I'd say that the dress is probably worth anywhere between eight and twelve thousand dollars. I'm so excited to find this. It's a French couture piece and it's all hand beaded and it's someone I've never heard of before. This came obviously with this <laughs> and I That's just can't great. imagine. It has a no. cigarette lighter in it and a lipstick case. Thank you so much for giving us a, a little tour of all the great vintage clothes Thank that is out there and you think we'll see a lot of vintage um, at the Oscars? I can't tell you who's wearing what just yet. It's kind of like spilling the beans on someone's wedding dress. If I was to give you one piece of advice, get one fabulous piece of vintage and add it to your wardrobe. Say goodbye, Robbie. I don't know how you can decide what to wear every day. Oh, it's tough being me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops, can you hold on? Oh, exactly. Stay there, Robbie. Stay there. Yeah, I have to confess, that little dog just peed on your back. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad, I, I have to tell you. Hey! Oh, goodness! <laughs> Hi, Robbie. Hi, Robbie. Hi, Robbie. Hi,